I, I, mean, I could hardly walk. I was slipping everywhere. And he looks at me and goes, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, this is gay, baby. <laughs> Embrace your inner gay guy. <laughs> and for a short period of time, we did. Mm. I was rubbing his chest. He's like, don't rub it so fishy, should. <laughs> like, I feel so good. <laughs> oh. This is every day, by the way. This is what happens every day on, on our show. Hi, my name is Amy. And my question is for Julian. I Let's wanted see, to know. Turn around and show the audience your t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> It said Mrs. McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> Julian, Julian remembers me because I was at the Museum of Television yes, and Radio. Yes, I remember, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, my question is, do you, do you get more enjoyment out of playing, um, like, vengeful, dangerous villains? Because I know you, you play dark characters all the time. Do you get more enjoyment out of playing that kind of character or playing, like, the kind-hearted, like, nice, like, good guys? I haven't played that many good guys. <laughs> no, that's not true. Um... You know, they're all interesting. I think it depends really on the story and the type of char and, and the character itself. And I like playing both. I mean, uh, you know, there's this movie coming out next week. Everybody has to go see called Premonition with Sandra Bullock. <laughs> and I play it. Thank you. If you do go see it, I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's a great film. But um, he was kind of this nice guy. But, uh, you know, the interesting thing about it for me is it's a different type of performance. Like... Christian Troy is, you know, you can't nap performing Christian Troy, you know what I mean? Like, he's out there, you know, so every day you go to work, it's a certain type of energy, you know, and then, like, Dr. Doom, he's a cartoon character, so you have to manipulate things in a different way and, and kind of find things I don't, that, that, that are very different to playing a, a realistic character in some kind of way. And then this guy that I just played in this movie coming out is just, like, you don't, didn't have, I didn't have to play anything, I just had to be. You know what I mean? I had to fill, you had to fill the scenes I felt like were filled with <clears throat> moments and things that weren't said. Um, and, and it was just a feeling of, of angst and, and, and separation and miscommunication and this kind of desperation. And you play that kind of stuff, which was silent, as opposed to Christian, which is this guy who's just kind of, I mean, Christian doesn't leave anything on the table. I mean, he says absolutely everything, you know what I mean? So they're just interesting Interesting. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Am I making any sense whatsoever, Mrs. McMahon? <laughs> it's just fun. I mean, plus you're an actor, you know, you want to play different roles as often as possible. And that's what the great thing about working on this show is you feel like you're playing a different role. I feel like I'm playing a different role almost every scene. This guy up here is so got his hand up. Can we ask? Sure. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time, baby. I love you back, baby. I, I want to be your, your Don Budge, baby. <laughs> Bring I it just, on! Oh, don't get me started! <laughs> this is for you and for Kimber's character, Miss Clarkson. What? I, I, um, what? This is for, for, for Kimber and Julian or Clarkson? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm Go sorry. I'm Carlson. much better Carlson. looking than she is. Teasing. Carlson. Give me um, a mic, I'm gonna Your guys' characters are so tortured and so in love and all that stuff with the carver, you getting damaged and him fixing you. I always thought, God, these guys are just so cool. They're going to get back together. And... You seem so tortured and so in love. Are they going to get back together? I mean, I don't know the result. I don't know what. We don't, I, don't, I don't think anybody really knows that, even Ryan. He'll probably tell you that he does, but he really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> My last um, comment. But, you know, I, I think we're all over the place all the time. So I think it's, you're, it's all open. You know what I mean? I mean, next, Although I will say next year I get together with Liz, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do. I do. The, the only. <laughs> <laughs> to me, the only constant wait. couple on the show is John and Christian, and that's the fun of it. Everything else is, is fluid and is not a happy ending, except that relationship has to, they have to fight through the angst, you know? It's just so wonderful to see Christian so vulnerable, and it seems like that's the only woman he's ever truly loved or allowed 
And yeah, it's I hard besides like, Julia, so it's really interesting. I, I definitely feel like there was a connection between those two characters. Oh, and the sex was awesome. Go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so funny about that? She, beautiful Kelly. Was. <laughs> so I don't know, what, what did you do before you did Nip Tuck? Like, just a couple of things, right? No, not much. Gorgeous, well, gorgeous thing arrives down in San Diego. I mean, you know, welcome to the Lion's Den, and I'm like... We should meet the night before and talk. <laughs> <laughs> that did happen. She's like, okay. <laughs> In my room. <laughs> anyway, so we started talking, and I'm like, I, I, I'd already spoken to Ryan about it. I'm like, you know, I want this sex scene to be, like, really explicit, you know? Sorry, I'm turning my back on you. Uh, to be, like, really explicit, you know? And, and she had no sense of what was going on. And, it, you know, some of it was written and some of it wasn't. I was like... So I'm talking to her and we're having a glass of wine or something. I'm like, so what do you think about this sex scene? You, you know, and she's like, yeah, I think it's really, you know, intimate and interesting and all that kind of stuff. And I said, what about if, like, I fuck your doggy and slap you on the ass? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that? Remember that? You don't remember? And you're like, um. <laughs> <laughs> But what did I do? And you did it, baby. <laughs> what did she do? It? My What's hand it? hurt after that. I had a handprint on my <laughs> butt. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, it's good to be an actor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <clears throat> Hi. Um, my question is for Ryan. Um, actually, I was. I remember the first season that you had said that you didn't want to have the show set in Los Angeles. And um, right. South Beach was an important component of, of the show. And I was wondering what, uh, I guess, made you decide to move the two characters to Hollywood? Well, when I, when I pitched the pilot, I initially had pitched it in Hollywood, Beverly Hills. And um, with the network, we decided, you know, if you do, uh, sort of a starlet of the week approach, which it's going to become inevitably, you can't really get into the guise. It'll be some weird buffer. So uh, I, the show very clearly had to be set in a city with skin. That's the point of it. So Miami won out. Um, and then, you know, we did it for four years, and I, you know, after you do four years of, of a show, you know, how many more times can we go in Dylan's kitchen? How many more times can we go in that surgery room or, or Christian's apartment. I think we were all sort of hungry <coughs> to shake it up. And so I thought it would be very interesting to move characters that you already knew to uh, Hollywood. So, so it, I don't think it would have worked the first couple years, but I do think it works now. And we're sort of just beginning to write those scripts and I think it works great. What I love about it is they were like, sort of like the big fish in the small pond in Miami and now they're in LA where you can, you know, there's a plastic surgeon on every corner, so they have to, at the age of 42, literally start over. And that's 30, 30, 32. 35. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a fascinating thing. And now what's really fun, because you know the characters so well, so you can do the archetypes of the starlet and the studio executive who has a dominatrix, and that you can do that stuff, you know. All those real things in life. <laughs> <laughs> Plus it gives you an injection of, like, just... <clears throat> After doing a show for four years and, and like you said, staying in the same sets and all that kind of stuff, it just gives everybody kind of a fresh feel, including like the set designers and the... Yeah, because we're having all new sets this year. Everything is... You know, so every, you feel like you're going back to a new show just with, you know, kind of a family that you love. <clears throat> well, first I have to say I absolutely love this show. It's amazing. It's the most unique show that's on TV. And my question is for everyone or anyone who wants to answer, which is your favorite uh, season and why? And I have to add, Julian, you have the nicest buns in all of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I think we could just stop right there. <laughs> John, do you want to answer that one? Yeah, no, I mean, I, it's funny. I'm sitting here thinking about it. I mean... Uh, you know, because I've been sitting here thinking while everybody's been talking and all the questions, and you really sort of, you really sort of take a, you know, like a trip back, and you think about your time on this thing, you know, and it's been really interesting sitting here from, you know, me thinking about that, and, uh, you know, I remember shooting the pilot was so incredible for me, and I walked away feeling, I, I have to be honest, I didn't care if the show got picked up. I, I don't believe in concerning yourself with an audience's reaction. That's none of your business. So I walked away feeling, you know what, it doesn't matter. 
I feel I'm so happy I got to be a part of this thing, and that's cool. And, and you know, uh, again, with that danger of wanting, you know, so I didn't, I just sort of let it go, and, and that was it. And, and so then when the show, uh, you know, got picked up, and when the episodes that came after the pilot seemed to maintain the same, uh, 